All right. Wall Street clearly believes Intel is in trouble from a long-term investor perspective. Stock is down nearly 30% the last time I looked. What does this mean for the enterprise buyer? Should you still be investing in Intel Xeon for the data center? Should you still be investing in Intel CPUs on the client side? I'm doing this video now on a Dell SPS running on Qualcomm uh, Snapdragon X, and it works perfectly fine. It's a PC. Is X86 still the stronghold that Intel needs it to be? And on top of that, AMD is doing really well on the PC and data center side. Their data center business doubled. You know what? This is not an easy question to answer. I think from a OEM perspective, when I go to a Dell, Lenovo, Cisco, HPE website, and I go to look at the available system configurations, whether we're talking on the client side or the data center side, it is still very much dominated by Intel. Matter of fact, Dell's latest big GPU server only comes in a Intel flavor for now. So this relationship that they have with the OEMs, this symbiotic relationship, I'd be watching that. Are we going to see more AMD SKUs sneak into the scene? And then there's the simple fact that x86 is x86, whether we're talking about VMware, Linux, etc. The hardware compatibility list is there, differentiating on speeds and feeds and features, starting to become less of a factor. It is now turning attention to what CPUs can I run AI workloads on the best without needing additional accelerators. Again, Intel, Xeon, extremely competitive. AMD, Epic, very competitive. And what are the cloud providers doing? Are they going to start offering less x86 options as they bring to bear their ARM-based solutions? A lot to take a look at, a lot to keep your eye on. It's still pretty safe to buy Intel for traditional workloads, but you know what? There's a lot of you know follow-on questions and a lot of analysis coming from fine folks like Ryan Stroud, which I'll link below.